Hello and welcome to the 100th video on the Oxvlog channel. Today's video is going to be about the reason why I'm here in Oxford in the first place, to study my subject, material science. Even within Oxford, not very many people actually know that it's a subject that they offer, let alone what it actually encompasses. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys what it actually is, what it's like to study it here at Oxford and why I think it's the best subject. During my first week here at Oxford, in all our introductory lectures, we seem to get the same Venn diagram shown to us. So it would have um, chemistry on one side, physics and engineering, and the overlapping area would be material science. It's all about looking at a material's microstructure to see how that influences its macroscopic properties. We're also looking at this in reverse to see if we can process the materials and engineer them to have even better properties for our applications. That's the thing that really drew me to this subject, is just how applied it is. There are many different research fields in materials that aim to solve so many of the problems of today. I'm personally really interested in energy, so many of the problems in terms of building nuclear fusion reactors, uh, making solar power viable with solar cells, and also hydrogen fuel cells in cars, lots of the barriers preventing these technologies from becoming reality require development in materials. Another application is creating super lightweight composites for aerospace applications. Another really forecoming field is in biomaterials, for example, creating materials for medical uses and that may go inside your body. It is accredited, so you can become a chartered engineer afterwards. This means there are aspects of the degree which include industrial visits and there's also a team design project in the third year. The fourth year to our degree is actually a research year, so I think this is what makes um, the Oxford degree really unique, is that you spend the entire year joining a research group to work on something that is really at the forefront of its field. Our subject is really small in the university. In each year there's only about 30 five-ish students. This gives it a really unique, um, close-knit, social feel to the subject, which I really love. I am a first-year material scientist, so unfortunately I can't share too much about what it's like in the other years, but at the moment I have on average two lectures a day and roughly about two um, tutorials a week. For tutorials it roughly takes about six to eight hours to complete the problem sets they set us beforehand. And we also have fortnightly lab practicals, which are around six hours long and they span over two days. After we've finished the labs, we have to do a write-up. So these lab reports roughly take about varying between five and 15 hours, depending on how tough the write-up is. We also have weekly classes in any subjects that require a bit more interactive learning. So for example, we have crystallography at the moment. So that's about three hours every week where we get to complete worksheets whilst also having DPhil students in the room so we can ask them if we have any issues. Okay, so that probably just felt like I just threw a load of numbers at you, um, but to get a sense of things, my day here studying materials is not too dissimilar to what my day would have been like at school in terms of the number of contact hours. So now I've shared a little bit with you guys about what it's like for me to study materials. So if you're studying maths, physics and chemistry at A-level, here's how to find out whether it could be the subject for you. What I went on and found really useful was taster courses and masterclasses. I went on a Head Start summer school and I know that the department also run lots of masterclasses where you can learn more about the subject and actually talk to some of the tutors and lecturers about it. There are also two books that I would recommend for anyone who's wanting to learn a bit more about materials. Firstly, there's um, The New Science of Strong Materials by J.E. Gordon. This is a bit more of an old-fashioned book, a bit more of a drier read, but it does give you a taste of um, some of the subject content you may be studying. And for more of a synoptic view, Stuff Matters by Mark Meodownik is also fantastic. Um, a bit less science in it, but it is a really easy and fascinating read. And lastly, of course, if you have any questions, as always, feel free to comment them below and I will try to get back to you. Okay, that's all for today. See you in two weeks' time. Bye!